and we are back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to bring you three Town Hall 14 Legend attacks, all using Queen Charge Flybrid and all on ring bases. About a week ago, I put out an, in basically an introduction to Queen Charge Flybrid, and people really enjoyed the video. But some people were saying, Avi, can you show me something with a ring base? I'm really having difficulty with the ring bases. So this video is for you and anybody else out there who's having difficulties with ring bases. Just sit tight, buckle up, stay tuned, and enjoy the show. Okay, so here we are on the first of our ring bases. Let's talk about, again, let's talk about the priorities and let's see how I work those priorities into this attack. Well, first of all, we know the priorities are you wanna take care of the eagle, you wanna take care of the scatter shots. Those are the things, eagle, scatter shots, town hall, those are the things that could destroy your whole army just like that. When I say town hall, I mean the poison of that town hall. You wanna, you wanna protect your troops when they're going through the poison of that town hall after it after it, it gets destroyed, that poison could destroy all of your dragons. So you really, really want to make sure that those are the three things that they're protected for. Four things that they're protected for. Two eagles, I mean two scatter shots, one eagle, and the poison of the town hall. Now, let's talk about ring bases. Ring bases, you got a circle. You don't want the you don't want them going around in the circle. Yes, you could use a blimp. Uh, or you could use the stone slammer, which I really, really love. So what do you do if you want to use the stone slammer? How do you get, how do you take care of a internet, of a ring base? Let's uh, zoom in here and let's talk about it for a second. Let me get the pen and paper out uh, and let's look at this base. So we know, let's look at the priorities. Eagles over here, scatter, scatter. Now the scatters are separated enough that I can take on one at a time if I approach this base properly. So what I want to do is I'm going to start my queen over here, let her just, you know, take care of some stuff, and I want to wall break her in right in the center between these two points. Between these two walls is where I want to wall break her in. Why do I want to wall break her in over there? Because if I wall break her in over there, it's more likely that if I do a second wall break on the next wall, not only will I get that wall break, but it will also, more than likely, the queen will go into this compartment. And I need the queen to go into that compartment. Now, when you're taking care of a ring base, you gotta break the ring. You gotta cut the ring. Now, you can cut the ring, meaning like that, like that. And what do I mean by cutting the ring? Let's, let's start clicking that play button so you can see what I mean by cutting the ring. My uh, wall breakers are, like we said, are gonna be over here in the center over here, and then over here. Those are my three wall breakers, and that's gonna allow me to take care of both scatter shots and the town hall and the eagle. Now, the only thing that I have left to decide in this raid is where I'm gonna send my king. So let's let's zoom in there a little bit and start watching how this, how this is gonna progress. Keeping that queen alive, using the cocoa loons, dropping a couple of loons to really make sure that the funnel's created on the left side to get that queen in. There's the funnel, I know the funnel's been created, so there's my wall breaker. Wall breaker goes in, there's my second wall breaker. That, now I know which, my, my, which way my queen is more than likely going to go. I see that the queen is going there, but I'm still not sure. And I'm not deploying my royal champ yet, because I want to make sure, is the queen going to be too close to this AD, or is she going to be too close to that AD? Now, once I know where my queen goes, I set the, I send that second wall break in, give myself another rage, but now I see that the queen is definitely going over this way, towards this way, because, because my king can't get this, and the royal champ's not going to get this. So once I know that my, my healers are, are going to be all the way over to the left side of this base, I know I can send my, my, my uh, royal champ in on the top side, and because my, my healers are not going to be in problem from this AD. Now I got the king is tanking this scatter shot. I got the queen taking out this scatter shot. I have the, uh, the dragons all coming in behind the king and behind the royal champ. Uh, I 
late with the warden, but I get the warden in there just in time. There's the town hall goes down. I use that warden ability to get them through that poison, keep them away from that poison at all costs. It will, I mean, literally, there's one dragon in there and watch how fast that dragon goes down. A second dragon's in there, not being targeted, going down. But as you can see, this base is pretty much roasted. I got the troops moving around. The Royal Champ is doing some damage up top. I got that beautiful Stone Slammer taking out structures, and it's got a whole mess of troops inside, ready to pop out there and take care of anything that needs some taken care of. The Queen does die in this raid. For those of you who know me, you know I hate when my Queen dies. But La Reina si murió. And now let's finish this one off. Let's click that double speed see the uh, triple, see the army comp, and move on to another ring base. And hopefully by the time this video is over, you will have full confidence in attacking ring bases. Whoop, there it is, baby. Okay, so here we are on the second of our ring bases. Let's talk about this base. We're not gonna go too much into the priorities. We talked about that already in the first one. Uh, but let's talk about my entry point, why I entered where I entered. Well, let's zoom in here a little bit. I see that the eagle is right over there. And what you want to do on these ring bases is you want to come in, but well, let's let's click the play button. Let's click the play button and I'll talk about it while it's going on. I'm going to start my queen over here and I'm going to get a wall break directly in front of her. I put her in between two structures, equally in between two structures. So basically I know she could reach this one, she could reach that one, and she's already gotten the middle one, and that should make a funnel for it to charge directly into the space. So there's the wall break. I, the queen's under rage. You want to use a headhunter even though the queen is under rage because you got a lot of stuff over there. Especially I'm also going to use an invisibility spell because that defensive warden is sneaky, sneaky strong. Now, at this point, at this point, let's pause this here for a second because now we got to talk about ring bases. At this point, I'm trying to figure out which way my queen is going to go. Now, if my queen goes down over there, I'm going to wall break my king in over here. This way I'm cutting off, I'm cutting off this section to force my queen to go in. Now, if my queen goes up this way, then because I want to enter, because I want to enter to take care of the scatter shots, and that's, I'd have to take care of that single target inferno, I would, let's move this stuff over. I would then, if my queen goes up this way we're talking about now, then I would drop my wall breaker in here and get my king in to go on this side, have him start clearing these structures. My second wall break would be here. This way, by the time the queen comes over here, she's got nowhere to go except for in the base. And if I was doing it like that, I would drop my royal champ in this way and my dragons in like that. That's the way I would do it. But I knew my queen on this base was going around the other way, so let's click that play button again and watch how we cut the ring off on this base. There's the queen, she's going down, she's going down, she's going down, and now I've committed. My queen is committed to going down, so I get that, I get that king in there, I wall break the king in, and get him in there to start clearing all of these structures. Those are the structures that I want cleared, because this way, once the queen finishes those structures, Look, look at that, look at that, nowhere to go. Royal Champ on this side to make sure, make sure that everything is gone. And now where my dragon's gonna go in, I look for the what he called, I look for the sweepers. I see I got a sweeper facing this way, sweeper facing this way, so it's no problem whatsoever. CC comes out, I let the heroes deal with the CC before the dragons come out, and now I'm just waiting to drop those dragons. I take care of the single target, now I know. We, we, now at this point, there's ain't nothing to stop me now. I got two mo I got a multi over there that my queen's gonna go towards. I still got a warden ability. You know, you know if that town hall's already down, you know I'm bringing in my stone slammer pretty soon. There's that stone slammer making its way around. I still got one freeze. I'm holding on to that freeze. I'm gonna need it for this. I'm gonna need it for the single target just in case my queen goes up against that single target. There's my queen going up against that single target. I freeze it, freeze it. Queen, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. 
she's going after that single target. Is she going to make it? She's going to make it. Yes, she makes it with the help of the Warren ability. She takes out that single target with the help of a little dragon. Also, my Stone Slammer pops. Queen still invincible a little bit. Takes down that Expo. Now dealing with that uh, with that Tesla. Now she moves around to go help out those dragons and the lone dragon rider left. Oh, two dragon riders left with a loon. Help him finish off this base. And there it is. <clears throat> Let's go look now at one more ring base and hopefully, hopefully you guys have got this down now and you will go out there and get all them triples on all these ring bases up in Legends or maybe not in Legends. Ah, uh, there it is. There is the triple. There is the army comp. Now let's go look at another one. Okay, so here we are on the last base of the video, the last ring base of the video, and let's talk about this base, and I'll try to explain why I did some of the things that I did on this base. Well, first of all, if I want to get my queen into that core, there's really only one wall break that I can do. So let's first focus on that wall break, where, what the goal is, where I want to get my queen to. And I want to get my queen, I want to wall break over here. That's where I want to wall break. So now that I know that that's the wall break, that's where I want my queen to get to, the question is, how do I get my queen into that section? Well, we know that in order to do that, you have to make a funnel here, and you have to make a funnel here. That's the way that I want to, that I want to do this. So now, now that we have this funnel, now that we know the funnel that we need, and we know the wall break, now let's figure out how we're going to accomplish that. And the way that we're going to accomplish that, I'm going to start my queen a little bit over. Basically, I'm going to start her over here, and I'm going to drop a baby D in over here. There's really nothing on this front line over here that will affect my baby D. And by doing that, by dropping my queen over here and dropping the baby D over here, it's going to create this part of the funnel. And then what I'm going to do is I want my queen to come down a little bit this way before making my wall break because I want to make sure that she doesn't go up that way. I don't want her going that way. So now we got the queen. I'm going to get a wall break over here. The queen's going to come back down here, come down like this, and she's going in here. Once I got that wall break open, I'm going to get a wall break over here, we already said, and then I still got to make the funnel over here. Now, how do I make the funnel over there? I'm going to wall break my king in. My king is going to wall break in there. He's going to go in like this. He's going to go in like this and continue along there. And I'm going to send my royal champion behind to keep to help keep that king alive and to make sure that all that stuff to get my king, my queen to go inside to the palm stand. Now, there's one more question we have to answer, and that question is, where are we going to drop the dragons? Now, I what's the other thing? If you've watched the videos, you've watched previous videos, current videos future videos, you know that there's only one other thing that you know I want to take out earlier rather than later, and that is the eagle. Now, let's talk about the eagle. We already said the king is going to be going in this way. He's going to, sh he's going to shoot down, he's going to shoot down here. The royal champ's going to go in behind. The royal champ's going to be coming along this line. The queen's going to be in here tanking these defenses. And what that's going to end up is, is that my royal champ is going to be left over here with with the eagle just about going down. I use some extra potions, I use uh, uh, spells, I use uh, invisibility, a couple of freezes, and that eagle does in fact go down. Now, why is it so important for me to sit there and take down that eagle with my royal champ and use all those spells just to get that eagle down, you're gonna ask. And the reason is, is because I know that the pathing that my queen is gonna take Look at all this stuff. Up on top of this area where my queen is going to end up being, look how much stuff is over there. I got, I got the queen. I got three multis. There's just a lot of firepower. So when I see that much firepower, ideally, I want to be sending my dragons in from the top side as opposed to, to this side away from my queen. See, my queen's going to be over there. And my queen, you got to know when you've given your queen too much work. It's like, you know, I hate to say this, but you know, you know how these women are. If you did too much work, all they're going to do is complain. Give them the perfect amount of work, and they'll be happy just going about their business, doing their thing. But the second you give them too much work, they say, that's it, I'm done. I'm finished. So once my queen is in this section over here, if I send my dragons in this way, it would just be, there's too much stuff still for my queen to go in. So that's why I decided to send my dragons in from that way. And I could only send my dragons in from the top if that eagle is taken out. Otherwise, that eagle is going to be left 
before last. Now let's click that play button, let's get rid of the squigglies, and let's see the attack in action. So there's the queen going in, there's the Coco Loon and the Baby D, and again, like I said, that's really starting to create that funnel to get the queen into the promised land. It's also forcing the queen to go down. Uh, there is the Coco Loon for the healers. Queen takes out the AD. Now you're gonna see the, you're gonna see the, uh, wall break on the bottom. Once I know that my queen is focused, she's going towards the bottom, now I wanna make sure that I get, I make sure that that funnel goes in. I don't wanna send that wall breaker in right now because if I send that wall breaker right now, it would open up the hole by the wizard tower. So I wait till the wizard tower goes down, get that wall break open, get another rage on my queen, and then send in that royal champ, pop my king's ability. So now the royal champ is being tanked by the queen, by, by the king and the queen. I got the CC coming out, the poison spell is dropped on that CC, give that queen another rage to make sure that she's all nice and nice and healthy. The king dies out. The uh, royal champ is now still has her ability, but she's sitting there and, and she's got two expos on her or one expo on her and uh, possibly a uh, wizard tower. Wizard Tower is still on her. I want to make sure that that, that 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 eagle goes down. That's the whole part of my plan, getting that eagle down. Once that eagle goes down, I know I'm fine. Whatever the Royal Champ gets after that is all gravy. But now come the dragons in. I bring those dragons in, getting them to move in, getting them to move down. I'm going to bring in, you know I'm bringing in my blimp. Start using my leftover freezes for the sweepers, for the queen, for the multi. I have no more rages left. My queen is most likely going to die on this, but I am going to gonna get her into that into that ability to give her some last last work she's gonna be doing taking care of that opposing queen taking care of the sweeper helping out with that dragon to take down the multi and now she's gotten back up to half health she's gonna be going through doing some more work the slammer is still going it's tanking for that remaining dragon rider and the two dragons the loons and dragon rider come out they got I got some new troops on the board healthy troops taking care of those last couple of structures and that my friends is all there is to these ring bases I hope you see what we're talking about cutting off the ring cutting off a section sending them in and again on this base you could send in the dragons from the bottom from the top it's wherever you need them most always keep an eye on that queen keep her alive keep her happy and she will keep you happy that, my friends, is going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you haven't done so already, well, if you did enjoy the video, click the like button down below. If you haven't done so already, hit that sub button. Make sure you got notifications on so you never miss when another video goes live. I am getting to work right now on CWL. We got a lot of CWL action for clans. So hopefully you're clicking that sub button, turning notifications on. And until the next video, have a super great day.